darkness. Is it a threat? A danger? Something to be avoided? Darkness represents the parts of our lives that hide in the shadows, in secret places we don't want to reveal. It also represents the harsh and painful realities of human callousness and cruelty, and it can evoke the surreal and frightening world of the supernatural and the bleak fact of death. The association of darkness with evil, suffering, rage, and hopelessness is why many people find themselves worried when artists, musicians, and pop culture icons embrace dark aesthetics and imagery. Most recently, the success of Billie Eilish has been a talking point among many parents, wondering how their children can be drawn to some of the dark themes expressed in the young singer's music. Some people think this expression of darkness deepens and exacerbates the struggles that younger generations have with depression and anxiety, when maybe it might actually help. Strangely, some adults seem to forget their own teenage years. Whether it's Lil Uzi Vert saying that all his friends are dead, Nirvana's Kurt Cobain screaming out his angst, Black Sabbath decrying the horrors of war, or B.B. King crying out through heartbreak that the thrill is gone. Every generation within recent memory has seen people using art to express and cope with their dark feelings. But human fascination with darkness is not a new or modern thing. It's an ancient thing. And it's not necessarily inherently evil, either. Even the Bible is filled with artistic expressions of darkness. For example, in various stories, we see people grieving and mourning in very extreme and striking ways, ripping apart their clothing and pouring ashes on themselves. The Book of Lamentations is a collection of dark poetry describing the despair of the people of Israel after the destruction of Jerusalem, and the Book of Psalms has a bit of a reputation for containing some dark and even violent content. Psalm 88 is a good example. It's the darkest psalm in the Bible. Line after line communicates the experience of despair. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am a man who has no strength like one set loose among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more. It's more than a little bit emo. It's downright hopeless. In fact, unlike other similar songs in the Bible, this one ends without any hopeful resolution. The very last line is exceptionally close to Simon and Garfunkel's famous line, Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. What many modern Christians often fail to acknowledge is that life is not always sunshine and roses. Pain, suffering, and sadness are very real, and those feelings need space to breathe. Artist pieces like Psalm 88 show us that there is room for spiritual people to feel their own darkness and to share their darkest feelings to each other and to God. For any generation facing confusing and disorienting feelings, sometimes the most helpful thing is finding words to make that pain clear and expressible so that it can be released and we can move forward. The God of the Bible wants to be the kind of friend who hears us in our darkness. Even in the darkest place, if you look, you'll find him there.